So let's go read the line from the book. Oh, so, so, dana ga sutto ugoki nanto sono ushiro ni kurai iriguchi ga arawareta. To, and then after that, Shodana ga suto, um, suto meaning like quickly, right, Mani? Yep. Quickly move. I, the, the bookshelf quickly move, move. Nanto, somehow. Sono. So, the, this is quickly, but it's kind of like instantly quickly. So it basically means like right after that happens, the next thing happens. So it's not about necessarily the speed of the action itself of opening, but the speed of the, Thing the event. starting to happen kind of super, right. super, uh, the event happened right after immediately it wasn't five seconds and then this door yeah. moved quickly and uh, nanto is just a um statement of surprise like my goodness oh my wow goodness. kind of rather than actually really? being a question uh, I, if, if it said like nanny then we'd be like oh kind of like masaka oh my exactly goodness. masaka holy moly so it's like who would have expected it I <laughs> nanto wow unexpected. Sono ushiro ni no oh, behind this, behind that. Kurai iriguchi ga awarasareta. A dark opening appear. Perfect. Do you happen to know this kanji? I completely forgot. This is well. This is our first time seeing it here, so I've just had to do if you already knew it, like half the words. This is sugata. Sukata Hi. is form. This is a word that we form. never ever use in English, but it's used a lot in Japanese. Like you say, like if I said, "Oh, I can't see the man," you'd say, "I can't see the man's form" in Japanese. It's a way to be specific about the physical appearance of somebody. Um, but we we would never say this word in English, so it's one of those interesting like things. Sukata. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Um, otoko no. Sugata ga yoku mienai. I cannot see very well the shape of the fo the form of the man. Exactly. So in English, we would literally just say, I cannot see the man very well. We wouldn't even have right. sugata here. But in Japanese, it's very important to add that sugata. It'd be odd to see otoko ga yoku mienai. Literally sounds like, I cannot see the man very well. I mean, it sounds like the man can't see very well almost. More mm. so than uh, it being the object. This seems to be a pattern. They seems to do this to nouns a lot because mm -hmm. like you remember, you mentioned the koto thing, like you you don't like the person, you don't suki. Like you like you things know, like, about the person. Yeah. You koto ga suki. Koto. Hi. Uh so uh dan dan is a sound effect that um a lot of times is translated as gradually, but it's not gradually. It basically means something is happening step by step. I... Which is, it's actually relatively, uh, if you had to pick between slow and fast, it's closer to fast than slow, but it's not supposed to be like, bam. Um, it, The idea is that it's almost like something is like chasing you is how I think about it. Done, 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 done kind of like thing. So like gradually sounds too slow, but there isn't really like a good word for it. Mm -hmm. Step by step is the closest because don, don, it's kind of the sounds of taking steps up the stairs. Hi. Dan, dan, dan. In zutto, it is like immediately. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Machutsushi no. Uh, we say the form was su Hi, sugata. Hi. Yep, sugata. Sugata. Sugata ga dan dan. Kiete. Kiete iku. And it's going away, so. The magician form, bit by bit, is disappearing away. Perfect. Um, do you remember how to read this kanji? Um, kaidan. Perfect stairs. Uh, let's. And do you know what mama tells us? We've seen this before. Mama is, is continuing. Yeah. In the same state before. Yep. Previous state continues. So let's go read. The line from the book. Dan dan ga aru rashi. Kaidan. 
はい、が階段、階段がある。ショダナの入り口は開いたままだ。The stairway、uh, is not up here, but it is, is now like present. Yes. It so, seems to be present. Yeah, because remember, he was like, oh, so the guy's going that bit by bit disappears. Oh, to I can't see him through the thing. So he's kind of saying, like, oh, okay. It must, must be. be a, it seems to be. It seems、yeah. to be a stair here. And Shodana no Iriguchi wa, regarding the entrance of the bookshelf, Aita, it remains open. Perfect. It's perfect. Aita Mamada. Mamas remains in this context. It remains open. You know what Garami means? Garami. Garamu? That's a weird word. It's, it's, it is a suffix, so you don't actually change it anyway.、Um, I'm starting like, to say what things are down here. Tail represents suffix because it shows up in the Japanese word for suffix. Hi, it's post. Okay. So it gets attached at the end of words, like a tail. Hi.、Uh, garami、oh. is about. So it's very similar to koto, but it's not actually a nounalizer. It's something that gets at the end of like nouns. Garami. Concerning, related to.、Um, related to. You read this for me? It sounds so much like toyu. Toyu koto. But it's gara, garami. Garami. Hai. Nani o suru ki daro? Kito. Machitsu ga. Machitsu garami da. <laughs> so the question. Nani o suru? Kidaro. What do you intend to do? You know what that all、um, means? That all, in this case, is it's a, it's a,、um, it's almost a question that you already had an answer for, right? Good guess. That all is like either going to mean probably or I wonder or right, depending on who's talking. Over here, I would say, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder what he's planning on doing.、Uh, he's asking himself. He's asking himself, not, not he asking them.、Yes. Okay, so I misunderstood that. So I wonder if he's going to do something. I wonder what he's planning、uh, on doing. So, key is to make、it. a plan. So, key, <laughs> when key is modified like that, means to make a plan. So, nani o su is what to do. So, key is making it. What are they planning on doing? Kind of like nan, kind of like tsumori. Is that、Hai. what key is used for? Hi. And then, kito was just now.、Mm, right? That's saki. That'd be like、um, a different word. Kito is definitely. 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 It's just like. Um, I keep getting it wrong. Like, like, I know you've done、uh, kito is a hard word for you, yeah. It's but I want to link it with a, a word that I hear in animation a lot. It's um, like zehi, zehi, definitely zehi? join our club. Zehi, y e a h must join our club. I see that now, something like、zehi. that. So、yeah. it's kito, he, he, it's like, kito is like a definitely in a like you're making you're stating a fact. So zehi. You're imploring somebody to do something. You would never use that he in first person. You're always asking someone to z e h i And、see. you never would kito someone, asking someone to kito. You'd be like, oh, I bet he'd love this. Then you'd use kito. And z e h i would be like, you would love this. I, I promise, surely. So, so the who's doing the who you're saying definitely to would depend. Hi. So it's、uh, Kito. Um, Machitsu ga Ramida. Ga Ramida. So surely it's magic. Yes. Must be about magic. Must be about magic. Surely. I don't know where he got that conclusion from. I guess it's because it was a magician who's、uh, doing something over there with this magical flowing silver. <laughs> 
Um, but how does he even know? Oh, because of the stone. Yeah, he but just... how would you know the stone's a magical stone? I he has know. a stone around a neck, and you're like, unless he's seen it before. He, <laughs> he just knows. He's like, that is obviously. It, it could a be a ju- It could be a man who 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 um like a merchant who wears our. The the real reason why he knows is probably because he's wearing a robe. <laughs> in his and, society and, and and he looks like all got like probably like a beard <laughs> like, like it's like huh what is this man he wearing is... a robe and a beard maybe it's a magician <laughs> with the visor with the hat with the big brim yeah, um, completely got the full right. outfit ensemble going on but who knows so um, I... can you read the sentence for me deshi na no de Oh man. So this na is here as like a glue between no de. You can't really have noun no de. For whatever reason, no de thinks nouns has cooties and doesn't want to touch it. So since it's an apprentice, because it's an apprentice. Yeah, I'd almost say I'm apprentice. I, he's talking about himself now. So because I'm an apprentice, mite oku, I can see it ahead of time. You know what oku tells us? Oh, true, true, ahead of time. So oku does mean to do ahead of time. That is correct. However, it actually is not used the way that you thought it was used. So oku, to do ahead of the time, a lot of the time means I should. I should get this done. So mite oku means I will look but it means i should look i put on my to-do list of something to do in the future is to look so mm. to do in advance is almost always in japanese means i should do this uh in the first person i feel like i have another word for should in my mind but mm-hmm. i there is it. there's like nasubeki koto showed up in this book mm-hmm. uh suberu like the be, beki beki Mm-hmm. Becky. Yeah, there's lots of ways should. to say should. Um, it all just kind of has to do with what you're wanting to say. This oku tends to be should do in the moment. I see. So if you're saying Becky, you're writing like a to-do list of things you should do. Oku means you're like, oh, I should do this right now. Becky means mm. I should do this at some point. <laughs> So I, Oku is a immediate should do action. That's why it's the do in advance. So I got to get this done before uh, something else happens, basically. Hi. Um, do you know what the word in the bold is? Uh, the word in the bold. Mm, koi, koi takata. Koi. So o. Oi, oi kakete. Oi, oi kakete. kakete. To catch up. Yes, to, to catch up. Perfect. To run after and catch up. Nice. So oku to do in advance. Do you know what the negative form is? Okanai. Yep, okanai. Perfect. So now you get the read the line from the book. Hi. Ore wa machutsu shi no deshi na nda kara. Oe kakete mite oka. Naito. I, because I'm a magician apprentice, um, I should, mite oku is I should, catch up. Yes, that is what he's saying. Literally, he's saying... Since I'm a mag- uh, uh, a magician's apprentice, I should cat. Oh yeah, you didn't you didn't do this part yet. <laughs> Never mind. What's this part say? Since I am a magician apprentice, I I catch up, and I should. Can I? Can I do? If I don't do it, something bad is going to happen. Exactly. So if I don't catch up, so it means I have to catch up. I, ha- right. I, I, I I ought to and I have to kind of way. I have to go look and catch up. And can I clarify here? Yes. This meat this meat that here had nothing to do with seeing. It has it, everything to do with trying something. In this case, it is seeing because we have the kanji. If this had the hira, if this was in 
this was an hiragana that it would be the trying so he wants to go see what the guy's doing and he's going to catch up i'm going to catch up to him and i gotta go i gotta go see i ought to and gotta go see what he's doing because i'm a magician's apprentice I... and he's doing something about magic so it's meet the meet meet the okanai to like yep. see and do if not then bad so yeah i must go do it yep i must go do it i must go do it right now it's kind of <laughs> what it kind of means mm. uh do you know why we have this nan right here because this is a nan no yeah we cannot have deshi next to the da um so, so you you could actually say deshi dakara this is just boring <laughs> <laughs> oh there, there's no flavor here so you want to add a no to make it feel very much like this is an explanation for something because dakara does mean because mm -hmm. but he's kind of adding the, the the grammatical because with the word because here and then yeah. it, the no has been slurred as mm, and no mm -hmm. and na is the glue for deshi so to clarify here he emphasizing deshi i am an apprentice yes Therefore, I'm an apprentice. In this role, I ought to act it. Yeah. As an apprentice. The magician feel, is ahead of me, better. and I, his apprentice, I should be with him. Well, this is not his, the, the, the the magician ahead of him is not Nebri. <laughs> it's a random ass other magician. So I, it, it, I know it's like been a bit, but basically, the main character went into this room. Over here, he sees Nebri and Crow having a big ass argument. And then he's like, well, I'm kind of bored. I'm going to go look over here <laughs> at this other door. On this side of the door, there's some other magician who is super duper mad, yelling, does something with a bookshelf and goes behind the bookshelf. Oh, I see. <laughs> and then never Khan's like very curious. He's like, ooh, he's what's wondering. going on here? So weird ass magician in the, in the crow's house. I gotta gotta go see what's going on. Um, so the Ndakada is just showing, like, yeah, because I'm the apprentice. I got I just got up. Hey, 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 uh, remember this guy? Um it's Sugata. Perfect, Sugata form. Nice. How about this one? I always feel like gata itself is also form, isn't it? Sugata? Gata? gata um you're thinking gata. about like the you're thinking about the like kata model of something right so yeah like um, a form like a that, kata that, i know but it's different it's different uh because i remember like a, a kata in martial art is you you do the form so you do the kata i'm not sure if this would be that kanji in that case but uh this is this is gata like a model of something like not like like uh for example in gurren Logan. They meet up, they see a Gundam, which is like a mecha. Mm -hmm. They call it a um, Kao Gata Mecha. Hi. Mecha. You know which how is that word? A face, it, which is a, a mecha that's in the model of a face. I see. But you do you also know how, like, um, they say meshike, like um, noun forms, or like, te, yeah. te, te, like uh, e, 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 or something like that? It, it, the k k k as in the form of a verb a yeah. form of a um of a word right whether it be a verb or noun or an adjective i think that k is also pronounced yes kata. k does also mean form and i think you're right that it's pronounced as kata so yeah th these are all different ways to say form but they mean different kinds of forms sugata is literally just saying the physical shape of an object um mm -hmm. this k and this k are more like talking about so a way something was built to look like um mm. so when i'm saying model i mean like this one right here is very much a model of a car something like you you have you're a standard model it's a mercedes it's some kind of category that you're letting someone know and the other one is also is is just a shape of something but it's more as i said like you it's, take it tends on to be that built. shape yeah. you take on the shape of a verb you take on the shape of an adjective you yeah. take on the shape because the verb changes according to the to the postfix yeah the suffix but sugata is really just the physical appearance of an object or person right 
so it's, 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 a... it's not really used like that um you might say like um say if someone looks like a pirate maybe you could use sugata in that context but in general that that's not really what it's used for these would not be used for if i was saying the shape he looks like a pirate you wouldn't use those I... in general these are like objects I, I... cool 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 um ba -ba -da -ba. okay so uh we're ending seven minutes early today <laughs> Hi. um but we finished one more slide so we have about two more slides left of this chapter in case you're curious time wise um, wow so next slide bye -bye. Is books and the one after that will be the um